I, this is the result of my uh, Philco project. It's a 481270 uh, radio and phonograph. I got it. It was it was pretty dirty and the wood was completely destroyed on top. It was just all dried out. Nothing, no finish at all, which made it actually easier to finish. I finished it with uh, some stain and uh, sanding sealer and clear lacquer spray. Rust-Oleum specialty lacquer spray. It came out very nice. This part is a different color called ebony. This was red mahogany. And the front I used uh, the red mahogany but I didn't use any clear polyurethane on it. I think, I think it looks real nice and satiny. I just polished it a few times with some wax. I did this. I uh, poly I coated these sides also with the clear uh, lacquer spray. All right, now I'm playing it. That's how it looks inside. I put new tags on the buttons. The following year, he was an engineering all the way up, up beyond Porter, beyond the Peace Bridge. Hey, you know, for weeks now, I've been talking about this. I have the photograph over here also. I completely refinished. It was uh, came in uh, this green this swirl type of finish, and it was it's all steel, but uh, it was all rusted and looked terrible. So I stripped it all down and painted it. It's a beige, it looks white, but it's a really bright, bright beige, and uh, it has the original cartridge on still. You can see it. It's, it's, it's a magnetic cartridge. And it has uh, a needle that's shaped like a J. And I've looked around all the needle sites, and boy, none of them had that. So, thank, thankfully, it works. It works really good. It's got a changer that will actually hold up to eight records. Maybe even more. It holds it on a side angle like that. The spindle is tilted. And let's try to play that. It's got this scratch eliminator circuit, and you can turn it off, and you hear little scratches from the record, if it's a bad record, turn it on, and the higher you go with this, the more it turns it, it eliminates that. It does work when I get a really bad record. I left the edges unfinished so you could see the uh, how it looked beforehand. It's actually it's actually strips like one and a half inch strips of wood, and then the outer surface has got a real thin veneer on it. I have to be real careful when I was standing it. I didn't want to destroy that. The top and sides are all solid wood. Oh, I'll let you sheet the reject, the reject mechanism again if you want. I gotta make a minor adjustment to this stem here. It's not, it's not lifting high enough. So you see how it jerked there? That's a simple turn of a screw. Pacific to 
the broad Atlantic shore. She climbs high mountains, up hill and by the shore. Although she's tall and handsome, and she's known quite well by all, she's a regular combination of the walk and cannonball. <laughs> States of Andy, so the Western people say. When she climbed old Rocky Island, took all her style away. To the lakes of Minnesota, where the rippling waters fall. No changes can be taken on the walk that Cameron Ball. <laughs> if you want to see the back side of it. You could hear all the people say There's a gal from Tennessee She is long and she is tall She comes from Birmingham On the Wabash Cannonball yeah, Transformer for the phonograph right there Just listen to the jingle And the rumble and the roar As she glides along the woodland To the hills and by the shore Hear the mighty rush of the engine Hear the lonesome hobos call while she's traveling through the jungle on the Wolf Bash Cannonball. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.